Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the Indian biotech sector. Some of the key facts about Indian biotech sector are the foremost thing is India is among the top 12 destinations for biotechnology globally and uh, India is the third largest biotechnology destination in the Asia Pacific region. In 2020, the biotech industry reached a market size of $70.2 billion, raising from 12.3 in the previous year. The sector also is making an increasing contribution towards the national GDP and is a key part of India's vision of reaching 5 trillion economy by 2024. Some of the key biotech sector insights are India has got 9 biotechnology parks and over the last, uh, last decade, biotech sector has shown 7 times growth and it has got 60 plus bio incubators and the expected CAGR between 2022 and the 2025 is 14%. India is the leading global vaccine producer and world's largest producer of BT cotton, world's highest number of US FDA approved plants outside the US and it has got 760 plus core biotech companies and 200 plus biotech products. India's biotech sector is categorized into biopharmaceuticals, bioindustrial, bioagricultural, bioIT, and bioservices. Within the biopharmaceutical segment, India has developed into a prominent vaccine manufacturer globally, occupying the leading position in the supply of DPT, BCG, and measles vaccine. India also leads in biosimilars with one of the most biosimilars approved in the domestic market. And within bioservices, India offers strong capability in contract manufacturing, research, and clinical trials and it is home to the most US FDA approved plants globally outside the US. The biotech industry in India comprises of uh, more than 5,000 companies and it is home to strong skilled resource pool due to high number of science and technology graduates. If you look at the growth trend from 2015 to 2020, Indian biotech industry was valued at $70.2 billion in uh, 2020 and it is expected to reach $150 billion by 2025. India's uh, bioeconomy has uh, different sectors uh, like uh, bioagricultural, bioindustrial, biopharmaceutical, uh, CRO, bioIT and research. All combined, the total bioeconomy is uh, $70.2 billion. Change in uh, percentage over the last year, uh, bioagri has uh, shown uh, less growth, whereas um, all other industries has shown a uh, positive growth. The key segments in the biotech industry are uh, bio, bio IT, uh, CRO and healthcare research. BT cotton, biofertilizers, biopesticides, enzymes, biofuels, biological or therapeutics, vaccines and diagnostics and medicine. So if you look at this uh, pie chart, we can see that the diagnostics space has 25.6 percentage of share that is the largest followed by the vaccine which accounts for 17.8 percentage and next comes to the BT cotton which is at 14.4 percentage and similarly BioIT and ZRO research, that is 15 percentage. So the segment share comparison between 2019 and uh, 2020, the biopharma has grown from 58 percentage to 62 percentage, uh, whereas BioAgri has got a hit uh, and it has dropped from 19 percentage to 16 percentage. This is mainly because of the COVID lockdowns and uh, other issues related to the COVID because of the textile industry got uh, shut down during that phase. Uh, that's the reason there is a, a decline in the growth. As one of the fastest growing knowledge industries in the country, India's biotechnology sector is poised to become a major driver of the Indian economy. The future of Indian biotech sector looks very promising. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. I would love to hear your thoughts on these kind of videos. Do let me know in the comment section. Thank you.